Nintendo wants to help you learn how to make games. The Division is expanding in some interesting new ways. And let's get deeper into Resident Evil Village. All that and the latest in everything cool today in The Rundown. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I did it again. I have to click so many damn things, guys. I apologize. Um, welcome to the show, everybody. Don't worry, I'll cut all of that out. Um, I'm going to make it a, its own separate video. I think those of you that have been uh, watching this know the deal now. We do the rundown live. And uh, then we jump right on to EPN Plays. Uh, I see you all there. Skate Tactics, Solitaire 01, Vague Zone Productions, uh, Blair Farrell. Um, and uh, Blair, I saw your comments there about not wanting to be spoiled with uh, Resident Evil Village. I got that. So I started a fresh uh, new profile right from the beginning. So we'll start, we'll play, I don't know, 45 minutes or so. I'll try not to spoil too much. I mean, we're going to get into it, but uh, it'll give you a nice taste of the game. And I'm going to talk about it in the rundown today. Okay, so I'm going to do the uh, intro again uh, so I can cut that out and make, make it its own separate video. Um, here we go, my friends. Oh, and this is going to go out to uh, uh, Kinshata uh, Kanez. Okay, Kinshota uh, Kinshota Kanez. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, all right. Um, hey, welcome to The Rundown. My name is Victor Lucas, and it is my absolute pleasure to be able to bring you the latest in everything cool. And that is because of our friends at the Gaming Stadium. They are Canada's leader in online esports tournament facilitation. They've got tournaments going on every weekend, and you don't want to miss out on the action. You can join up with them at tgs.gg. All right, today's rundown is going out to Kinshota Kinez, and I, uh, I hope I got the name right. The fact that they, oh, no, this is, it's actually a different person. It is going out to Daniel M. 11, who says, if you listen carefully to the Andrew Garfield interview, he is obviously in Spider-Man No Way Home. Listen very well. He never says straight no. Uh, so that is Daniel M11 with the optimism and the hopefulness that Andrew Garfield and I guess Tobey Maguire will be in Spider-Man No Way Home. We all want that, right? We want to, we want it, but we want to be surprised, even though we've been talking about it for about two years at this point. Uh, all right, listen, we got lots of news to get to. Let's get started with the rundown. Nintendo did a surprise reveal of a brand new idea that they've got coming out. It's kind of hard to call this a game. It's called the Game Builder's Garage, and it's a budget-priced title, so it's uh, going to retail for about 40 bucks Canadian, probably about 30 bucks American. And the whole idea here, as you can kind of tell from some of this footage, is to get people, families, I would imagine, young people, you know, players out there to experiment with crafting and building their own video games. And they've got a whole bunch of guided lessons in there. You're controlling these little characters that they've put into the game called Nodons. I think that's how they pronounce it. And you, uh, you know, you set paths for them. You give them all kinds of different uh, AI attributes. And then you can kind of just keep monkeying around and build all kinds of ideas. And the whole concept here is, of course, you're going to get some guided education on how to, you know, work Work with the tools that Nintendo has crafted, and then eventually you are just going to be able to, uh, you know, use your imagination and craft whatever the heck that you want to, which is pretty uh, damn impressive. We've seen this kind of idea before. 
uh, with games like Dreams from Media Molecule, which has been out for the PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 platforms for, uh, I think, coming on a couple of years if you talk about the early access. And then I think the big granddaddy of uh, building your own video game experiences out there, especially in terms of market capitalization, is Roblox, which uh, recently went public and uh, was uh, valued at $45 billion. And so if that isn't going to be an inspirational kick in the butt for game makers out there to, uh, you know, provide some tools to developers or to, you know, burgeoning developers. I don't know what is. Nintendo has tried this before, obviously, with uh, Super Mario Maker games, which are phenomenal. But I think this kind of opens things up in some pretty exciting ways. Uh, obviously, you, you know, you can make your platformers, you can make 2D types of experiences, you can make space shooters, you can create all kinds of obstacles and things like that, that uh, the players will have to deal with but I, I think what's really impressive is they give you some art tools they give you some fundamentals on building stuff in 2d and in 3d and I think what this will really help to show especially because Nintendo's game makers are, are part of the uh, creation of this is how tough it is to make games but how um, you know unbelievably uh, open-ended video game development can be you can kind of conceive of anything and make a video game out of it so I'm very excited to check out uh, the software but also to see how uh, people's imagination with Game Builders Garage kind of flourishes because, of course, you can make things and share them and download other people's work. That comes out very soon, by the way. It comes out on June 11th for the Nintendo Switch. Something that's going to be coming out not too long from now is a new Division game called Heartland, which Ubisoft revealed today. This is a, uh, a new take. It's a standalone experience, and it's free-to-play and uh, what Ubisoft is trying to do here is really expand out on the success of the division as it stands right now. There are 40 million active users that have participated in playing division titles over the years. Uh, and there's also a division movie coming with Jake Gyllenhaal and Jessica Chastain. Uh, that's coming to Netflix. And some of the people that were involved in Deadpool and, and the John Wick movies are involved with this as well, which is pretty cool. But we've seen The Division kind of uh, take uh, different attempts with storytelling right from the get-go. It's been kind of a transmedia conception. Obviously, it's under the Tom Clancy brand name. So there is a, uh, you know, a loose connection to the storytelling that Tom Clancy is famous for. Uh, and there's also a kind of an authenticity and this kind of uh, spooky surreal surreality about it. Because, you know, obviously, The Division games are about um, some crazy pandemic that overtakes the world and then all kinds of people go nuts and all all of these different factions and gangs start erupting all over the place and uh, Massive uh, who has worked on this title has done a phenomenal job what's interesting about Heartland is that it's going to be made by a different studio at Ubisoft of course you know all of the studios that Ubisoft has around the world they kind of share responsibilities uh, but it's Red Storm, who's got a long history with um, Division games in the past. They didn't have any footage of Heartland. They just announced it today. Uh, but, you know, they've dabbled with animation. Here's a little bit of an animated bit that they developed for the uh, Gangs of New York or uh, the Warlords of New York DLC that they put together for the Division 2. You know, they really have something very cool with this property. It, it, it was kind of a sci-fi take, a, you know, a future-looking take on um, the... the, uh, the the Tom Clancy kind of universe. Uh, but I always felt that it was incredibly compelling. And one of the things that I've enjoyed about the division right from the get go is, is that, you know, they're utilizing a lot of the familiar and then burning it down and making it all beautiful, but completely devastated and dystopian. And uh, it's shocking to play through that. And, you know, when they were making The Division 2, we, we had a, an amazing trip out to Washington, D.C. to interview the developers. And they had done a one-to-one -one scale recreation of big chunks of the city to put into the game. So it was uh, incredibly eye-opening how much love and energy and effort they put into these titles. And uh, now I think what they're doing, Ubisoft is, you know, clearly looking at the buckets and buckets of money that companies like Epic and EA, uh, you know, Valorant and Apex Legends, all of these big games that are free to play right now are making a lot of these companies. And they want a little piece of that action with an IP that is proven. And uh, I have to say kudos to Massive, you know, like they... Um, 
they they took a bit of a gamble with this property and they you know they made it a, a persistent role playing type of experience it wasn't really a shooter but it used a lot of shooter mechanics and uh, you know a lot of people became dissatisfied with the end game stuff but i think it proved itself over time and they, the the developers kept listening and they kept adding end game content and i think most people that were with the division 1 were very happy with the division 2 um, and I, you know, I'm just excited to see what they're working on now with Lucasfilm as well, because, because they're going to be working on a Star Wars game. And clearly that is, uh, Ubisoft corporate having a lot of faith in what Massive is able to accomplish. And also Lucasfilm saying, I, I would like to see these developers work with our IP and make a cool Star Wars game. So, uh, you know, there you go for fans of the division, you've got more coming and you don't have to spend any money if you want to play some. And for uh, fans of Star Wars games, you've got a massive developed Star Wars game coming down the pipeline, which is really cool. All right, let's talk about uh, the big game that's coming out tomorrow. I have uh, I talked a little bit about it yesterday, but I've played quite a bit more, and I wanted to dig into Resident Evil Village. Um, I can tell you right now that this game is terrifying, and I love it, and it has a complete hold over me. And uh, I don't know how to pronounce that tall lady's name, uh, but she is hor- she's a lot like Mr. X, you know, like we saw in Resident Evil 2. She clambers around inside of uh, uh, the castle that you're trying to navigate through. There's all kinds of puzzles that you have to solve and secrets that you have to find and weapons that you have to pick up. Um, but you are incredibly vulnerable in this game, and it's so artfully crafted. It really shines. It really feels... I've been playing it on the PlayStation 5. It really feels like a next-gen leap in immersion, you know? And I was playing it late at night last night, and yes, it's... Somebody used the term pancake video game because it's off of a flat screen. It's not VR like Resident Evil 7 was. But I was completely sucked into this universe. It is so well crafted so detailed the hdr lighting is phenomenal the uh you know the ray tracing and all the the you know the highlights and stuff that you'll see coming off of light sources and bouncing off of everything it's just utterly astounding it is so gorgeous and i and it's you know it transports you it's a bit oppressive like resident evil games tend to be i mean there's a uh, definitely been some moments as I've been playing it where it's just like I don't I don't know if I could take this man I, I just I feel too uh, vulnerable and afraid and I just I feel like something's gonna just stab me and you do get stabbed a hell of a lot Ethan Winters just is like a pin cushion in this game and uh, he takes the abuse holy crap and you feel it man and you know. Uh, There's a lot of speculation that this is going to be a PSVR 2 game or maybe eventually ported to PC and you can play it on the Oculus uh, platforms uh, or the other VR platforms out there. I I would think that that Capcom's got a long kind of idea for where Resident Evil Village is going to go, and I wouldn't be surprised if this becomes a VR experience. But I can tell you, the pancake version, quote-unquote pancake version off of the TV... Um, I don't feel like I'm missing much, you know, it's so immersive and, uh, it's uh, and it's not just the visuals either. It's the audio fidelity of the game too. The surround sound, um, the fact that you you hear your feet shuffle and scuffle wherever you're moving and walking is a bit unnerving, which I think is part of uh, you know Resident Evil game making lore. Uh, you don't always know if those are your footsteps, and often they're not. And it's so freaking creepy. But there's lots of you know great guttural noises from monsters that you're gonna encounter along the way. I I've had uh, a couple of really epic, monstrous um, uh, interactions so far, which I won't spoil, and they're just so well done, you know? Um, Lots and lots of great little touches and and, uh, beautiful little hooks that keep you going. And and certainly, like a lot of Resident Evil games, it's like, what do I have to combine with this? And where do I go and find this? And how do I put this? What am I supposed to do right now? I got to go find this knife. What? Where is it? And then you're looking at your map and the map's a bit confusing because you don't know where you got to go. And and, uh, but um, you know, it's a game where you you play it till you're totally exasperated. You put it down for a second, then you figure it out while you're not playing it and you go back and and uh you get past the place that you are stuck in let's see there's also uh, lots of great in this game uh, and, uh, one of them that I really, really uh, 
is the new um, merchant who references Resident Evil 4's uh, merchant quite a bit, which is pretty funny. Uh, but uh, yeah, I mean, you guys have played a Resident Evil game before. You you get better weaponry, you uh, augment it, you make the weaponry cooler and tougher and reload faster, uh, and then almost invariably you find that your weapons are kind of useless <laughs> against some of the bigger enemies in the game. But yeah, I'm loving it. I, I can't really uh, hang a score on it yet, but what I've been playing so far, uh, definitely 8.59 kind of frame for sure. I don't know if I like it more than 7. I think 7 was so groundbreaking and the setting of it was so cool and of course I played big chunks of that game in VR and I I and it was so fresh, you know? And this feels like you need to have 7 sort of back pocketed before you can really appreciate this one. So, um it's, but it's amazing. It's a really, really fun Resident Evil game. Definitely a little bit more action-oriented as well. I mean, it, 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 there are parts of the game, I talked about it yesterday a little bit, because you're inside of a castle. I, I kept thinking of Castle Wolfenstein. It kept floating through my mind, the various Castle Wolfenstein games that I've played over the years. Uh, but yeah, this is not to be missed if you are a uh, Resident Evil fan. Let's see I what you're really made of. Really, All right, I've got just a couple quick things to tell you guys about. Netflix dropped a tiny little teaser trailer for what's coming up with Stranger Things 4, where they show a lot of uh, kids in captivity into forced play. And then we hear about Papa. We hear um, the Matthew Modine character, uh, you know, talking about specific things. And we flash over to, uh, we see the number 11 on the door, which is uh, kind of cool. Um, so it looks like we're going to be uh, looping back to some origin type tales to give us a sense of uh, who 11 is and where she comes from. Looking forward to Stranger Things 4 very much. I loved season three so much. Um, also, Metroid, uh, Metro, I almost said Metroid, Metro Exodus is uh, upgrading to current gen platforms in June, and they released a little trailer showing off some of the uh, the beautiful new details that people are going to see within the game. It was already a great looking title, has, you know, beautiful HDR lighting and, and uh, great effects, great visual effects. It's, uh, you know, a really nice sense of immersion. Um, they show it running here on the Xbox Series X at 60 frames per second so it's just going to feel you know much more fluid and look prettier and shinier and i'm sure you know there's going to be some pretty inc incredible ray tracing effects and stuff on here uh if you've never played this game or this series it is um it, they're wonderful. They're very different from a lot of the other shooters out there. It's really, uh, you know, a resource depleted shooter and uh, you have to scavenge for your ammunition and the uh, enemies are all mutated. This is basically after a huge uh, nuclear uh, devastated reality that you have to exist through and you meet all kinds of crazy mutants and, and uh, scabbed up individuals <laughs> and uh, you get into some pretty epic confrontations but there's also a real craftsmanship to the storytelling as well. I really enjoyed this ride and, and uh, I can't wait to see this thing running on uh, um, the new horsepower that's available to us right now. So that comes out in the middle of June. Uh, Nintendo also dropped a little trailer today for a new game called Super Animal uh, Royale. And I guess this is a take on uh, Animal Crossing and... Um, uh, the battle royale craze out there <laughs> where you have all of these cute little critters and then you arm them up with machine guns and stuff and, and you get them out shooting at each other. You, it, It's all kind of 2D puppet vision, I get, you know, kind of like paper puppets, uh, but it certainly looks cute and um, uh, a little merciless and maybe a tad cynical, uh, but it's hard to refute that there's some cleverness in there, you know. I don't know how the game is going to play, but it's, it's coming out pretty soon. That one's called Super Animal Royale. And uh, there's also a, a new teaser. Well, actually, it's the opening sequence for Scarlet Nexus, which dropped today from Bandai Namco. And uh, this trailer is fantastic. It, well, it's not really a trailer. It's like the opening sequence kind of uh, highlighting the energy.
energy and the fashion and the kind of cyberpunk qualities of Scarlet Nexus, which is a PS5. I don't think it's on PS4. I think it's PS5 and Xbox uh, Series platforms um, and probably PC. But it looks damn cool. It certainly reminds me of Astral Chain, which I absolutely adore. Uh, but I love this anime um, uh, the tease of the game with super fast, hyper, beautiful music and lots of great little quick uh, cyber cut sequences and stuff in here. They did a great job with this. And this is sort of, you know, setting the tone for how the game is going to feel. And uh, I'm looking forward to Scarlet Nexus. I hope it lives up to its visual gloss, you know? The game just looks really damn cool. All right, you guys, that's going to do it for the rundown today. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back again tomorrow with the rundown, so please come back for that. Uh, in the meantime, please dig through some of the content on the channel. And if you like our stuff, hit that subscribe button and that little bell to be notified. Thank you to all of our subscribers and our EPN members. We'll see you tomorrow. And until then, play forever. My buried treasure today is Wolfenstein, not the more recent Wolfenstein games from Machine Games. I'm talking about the one that Raven made for the uh, Xbox 360 PS3 era. It was also a PC game as well. And uh, it had some pretty cool tech. They worked with uh, id Tech 4, I believe. And this was a, a game that really kind of, uh, you know, has, you know, the Machine Game stuff have kind of focused on this sort of almost uh, updated steampunk or this, uh, this future through the lens of uh, the past past kind of aesthetic, but Wolfenstein uh, back in 2009 that the the Raven team developed really kind of went with this occult version of uh, augmented weaponry and stuff. So it was like a lot of supernatural weapons. There was even this different supernatural uh, dimension that you traveled through called the Veil and you got all kinds of powers. BJ Blazkowicz got all kinds of powers. You had lots of great weaponry and the combat was super fun. And then it was heightened by these great kind of ethereal real flourishes uh, that made the game fun and it also was a little bit taxing on the hardware at the time so it, there was some chop and there were some issues with it but it was still really solid gameplay. Raven is a terrific developer. They've stopped kind of making their you know putting their own stamp on their own titles these days but they back in the day they used to deliver lots of great titles for us and this was one of them. It was fun in the day and in the uh, the rearview mirror uh, with the more recent Wolfenstein games it's kind of cool to kind of take a look back at where this series has come and I think it's absolutely an underappreciated gem and my hat's off to Raven who has developed lots of great games for us in their history and that's why I say their Wolfenstein is a terrific buried treasure. Hello, my friends. All right, right, let's. I'm just reading through some of your comments right here. Uh, uh, that's uh, very nice, Nick Seabright. Let's play a little bit of Resident Evil uh, uh, Village. I read logo just as I was saying village. Whoa, is that logo new? I, I uh, put it together a little while ago, a little animated bit there to take us into EPN plays. So um, we're going to start right from the very beginning of the game. I didn't want to spoil stuff. Um, you know, deeper into the experience. Um, uh, but I will say that if you don't, you know, I would, I will understand if you don't want to see any of this thing, if you're picking it up tomorrow. Uh, but I think that there's probably quite a few people out there that are very curious about how this game uh, runs and how it plays. I played the demo and streamed some of that. That was fun. Uh, but let's jump into this and uh, let's, uh, let's play it for a little while. Okay. I've been having a blast. New game. Here we go. Adrian Leon, good to see you. Peter Kokosar, woo! Empty. 
yet determined to find the berries, the Rasko broke free from Mother's grasp and vanished into the trees. Mother's worried cries faded fast as the girl ran on, over vine and under branch, and into the forest deep. Feeling strange eyes upon her, the girl recalled Mother's scary bedtime tales, and her throat became bone dry. Then the Pat Lord appeared. He greeted her warmly and bit his own wing. Come, child, quench your thirst, he said. So Just she letting you guys see a little of this without doing too much chatting over it. Passing through the graveyard, menacing storm clouds loomed, and the air turned bitingly cold. The girl was shivering in her thin clothes. Then a dark weaver appeared, and with a click of his fingers, crafted mist into a beautiful dress. Come, child, warm yourself, he coaxed. So she clothed herself and smiled with joy. Across waters deep and ominous she went, hoping a boat she found would carry her home. But hunger's grip tightened and her heart grew heavy. Then the fish king appeared and offered one of his many fins. Come, child, eat your fill. So the girl ate and smiled with joy once more. Continuing on, she soon entered the forest's dark heart. Then an iron steed appeared, bearing a beautiful golden gear. The creature said nothing as the girl approached and snatched what she thought was another gift. The horse grew angry and summoned the other monsters. Terror filled the girl's heart as the wild wind rose around the beasts. Suddenly, a witch appeared, dark yet regal. Pretty cool way to start the game, huh? Gifts we gave, but the more you took, she snarled. So more in turn was due. In a blink, the girl was trapped inside a mirror. There. She's asleep. What is with the creepy story? She's only six months old. Woman at the store said it was traditional. A local tale. Besides, Rose doesn't seem to mind. Because she doesn't understand it, thank God. We moved here so that she wouldn't have to deal with any of that, remember? There's nothing wrong with my memory. You're just being paranoid. It's not... Never mind. I'm sorry. But I'm not paranoid. I'm just cautious. Then, go cautiously take your daughter to bed. Letting, uh, letting this play so that there's a bit of a setup, so I'm, I'm trying not to chat too much over it. Sam, I am one, one, one with the great comment. Okay, Why are you scaring this baby? Your mother doesn't want to remember it. I can't blame her. All Did right, you let, say something? Let's Nothing. Play. I'll put so it. So I down. have a baby in my hands, and I'm walking around. Let me know how the um, uh, the lighting is. I brighten it up a little bit because obviously this is tends to be a bit of a bright game, or a dark game. Um. So I, I kind of, I mean, that's the fun thing about replaying and restarting. I didn't really uh, take in the whole apartment when I first started playing. <laughs> Our taste in music's definitely improved over the years. You mean mine has. Oh, I'm going to pop this down just a bit so it's not blasting too loud. Okay. Let me know how the mix is uh, with game audio and um, and my voice. Okay, so you can tell you can pick up objects and stuff. It's not quite, um, uh, you know, Fallout or Elder Scrolls level where you can pick up everything. What a miracle! Yeah, these these characters are in seven. Um. Which is, you know, all kinds of horrifying things happen to them. There is a recap of of uh, Resident Evil Seven. There's a video recap of it, uh, included with this game. I should have just bundled them. 
Well, I think there is. There's a special edition where you can... Uh, there, there. It's like I said to your mom. Uh, for you. It doesn't spoil seven. No, it doesn't spoil seven. Um, other than... Um, you... You see that there's some happiness that comes out of seven. At least we won't be spoiling seven today. Your mom and I love this song so much. Oh, Mr. Mass Produce. Did you get seven then? Because I, I saw that you're going to get eight. Are you getting seven as well? Almost there, honey. Oh, you know what? I, I didn't go down the room here. If the baby doesn't poop, it's not a day one purchase for Nick. Okay, interesting. Is that just par for the course with every game that you you pick up? They the characters have to poop. A historical look into the architecture of Eastern European. Okay, cool. All right, what's this? Everyone's forgotten about this already. All right, cool. Probably not jumping straight to eight. Yes, I believe that's right. Uh, Vague Zone podcast. I believe that's right. It's a must play. If you've never played seven, you absolutely add it to your your backlog. <laughs> okay, so we don't want to put her in, Rose into the big bed. We're going to put her into her crib. There we go. There you go, sweetheart. No, I didn't play Soma. I've never played Soma. Daddy won't let those weird fairy tale monsters get you. Shadow Mist. Shh. Um, do you think these last two games took a lot of inspiration from PT? Uh, that's a good question, Vague Zone. Um, maybe a little bit more from uh, Silent Hill, like classic Silent Hill stuff. They definitely feel different than 2 and 3. But then they always... Rose is fine. They always find a way to loop it into the the core lore of Resident Evil. It's not okay. paranoia. They really ought to get you. Okay, so this guy's seen some shit. <laughs> okay, let's get downstairs. Incredible fidelity on the environment, so huh? Doesn't that look so tangible? So tactile? They've done a great job. All of the light sources and everything, too. God, we've come a long way from Resident Evil 1. I've been here reviewing all of them all the way along. <laughs> okay, let's see what's happening here. Oh, it looks like the the uh, Super Animal Royale game right here. Um, I think switching to first person was a smart move, sort of spiritually in line with the limited camera angles of the old games. Vague Zone podcast. That's a very good uh, analysis there, my friend. There's certainly something um, immediate, and uh, you know you're in the skin of this character. Mom got you another so when you you get hurt, you really feel it. I mean, the brand is so big. Is she okay? Sleeping like a well, like a baby. Mm. Mm, that smells good. What's that? Oh, hands off, Mister. It's chorba de la gum. It's a local recipe. Wow, you've gone full native, haven't you? Hmm. Local wine, too. But if you're going to keep sulking all evening, maybe you shouldn't have any. You really have to stop worrying. It's just finding you in Louisiana, the pregnancy, Chris moving us here, the military training, it all happened so fast, you know? Well, at least we're all together. You... Me, Rose. Letting things run now, for a bit. Everything's gonna Seriously, be... think we can just forget about what happened in Louisiana? It happened so long ago. I just I don't understand why you are so <laughs> Mia! Get down! Mia! Huh. <sighs> 
Mia. Oh, God. Chris? What the hell? Sorry, Ethan. No! What? Why? Crazy way to open a game, huh? All right. Do I think that these should stay first person? All clear. Rose? What the hell are you doing with my daughter? I think the the creators on Resident Evil know exactly what they're doing, and they're very talented. Ethan, no. The remakes have been awesome. It's such a special franchise, man. So I'm okay with them bouncing back and forth. Pretty crazy, Vasquezy, huh? You guys haven't seen anything yet. This game is insane. <laughs> oh, I don't know, Peter Kokosar. Hey, Doc. This is cool going back after you've played a bit. We'll be there. That was the Doc. She'll see us next week. Hey, now. Think positively, all right? We talked about this. I know. <laughs> Mr. Mass Produce. We hardly talk about anything else. It comes out tomorrow. I'm allowed to stream it today, Deceptive John. But I'm not going to get too far. We're just going to play for a little while. Look, she's going to be fine. I just know it. What else matters? We matter, Ethan. You matter. I, Sam, I am one, one, one. I'm, I gotta admit, I'm not crazy about horror in general. I, I'm not a big horror movie guy, and I, I have to take this. I like these types of games to a degree, and it's really hard to kind of compete with the best that Resident Evil has put out there. You know, like Resident Evil Four is still my favorite out of all the Resident Evil games. Um, and so when I've played other ones, I felt like they've not had the uh, the fidelity and the immersion and the craftsmanship. Although I love the Amnesia games, and the Outlast games have been pretty damn cool as well. And I like RE much more than Silent Hill. Mostly because I, I just think that the pedigree, the, the quality of them has, has been... Amazing. I love the uh, Yamaoka music in Silent Hill, though. Who is Chris Redfield and Rose? Deceptor John. Yeah, RE4 is really hard to top. Resident Evil 4 rocked. It delivered on every front, you know? It was creepy as hell, but the action was amazing, and you felt empowered. It was just so expertly made. Oh, uh, Dead Space. Now you're pulling out some good ones. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm, I, I, I like getting scared. I don't, I don't like being in that state. Like, I like thrills more than terror. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, there were seriously when I was playing this last night, I was just like, "What am I putting myself through? This is this is horrifying. I'm so scared. Oh my god, that big lady's coming. Oh my god, that's a, that's a, and Mr. X and RE2. I mean, it's just like. The, the pressure, like you can feel it in your body. So I don't know if that's good for you. <laughs> for me, at least. You know what I mean? But uh, yeah, throw me off a train in Uncharted where I'm hanging on by a fingernail and I'm like, oh my God, I love this. Even though I'm, I'm you know, my hands are all sweaty and I'm flipping out and scared, but different kind of terror. This is an excellent example of the... Uh, uh, the sophisticated lighting modeling in this. I mean, it's so photoreal. I, th this could be, I'll put it on full screen here. It, this could be a movie. Like, I think it'd be very hard to tell if you're just looking at footage. And this is, you know, off of a, a kind of a dingy uh, compressed stream. But it's so realistic. I don't know where the hell I'm going, by the way. I've, I've spun around, so I don't know where I am. I might be going right back to the van. Okay, there we go. Go under here. 
It's not incredible. <sighs> All right. So freezing in pain, psychologically abused, scared for his daughter. Welcome to a good time in Resident Evil Country. And then there's dead birds hanging up from trees. It's going to be a great day. What the hell was that? Uh-oh. Am I going the right way? I think I am. Oh, did you see that? Isn't that just oppressive? Like, it's foggy. The light only sees a little bit. It's like six feet ahead of you. You don't know what the hell is happening. Can I get in here? No. There's a door. I hope my kid is not watching this game. <laughs> this is my vision normally, Sam. I am 111. Where I would like to see Resident Evil evolve to is... Um, even more robust crafting. Gross. I, I would just like to be able to see... Um, I, I interact with everything. You know, they've done such an excellent job at modeling all of this stuff. It, it would turn it into more of a role-playing game. But I think that's a be a nice way for Resident Evil to evolve. Because, you know, my complaints around Resident Evil from the get-go have been where you're always looking in little corners to see what you can interact with. And so it's it's been like a cursor hunt type of game. I mean, it was almost envisioned like a, a point-and-click adventure back in the day. And that there's a core route to the play experience that needs to be maintained no matter how you know sophisticated the, the games get over time. Um, but it would be cool if, they, if you could manipulate everything, a la... Um, uh, Half-Life Alex, even, which I think is the the grandest illustration of that currently. It would change the game dramatically, but uh, that's not bad. It's not a bad thing. Wow, oh, man. Okay. All right, let's go into this basement. <laughs> oh, my God. Anybody hungry? Look at this. All right, so what's... I don't like the creepy picture! Who puts that in a frame, right? Yee! Okay. Oh, what's this? Okay. Here we go. It's so dark. I hope the stream looks okay. It will brighten up a bit from here. Look at how great that looks, huh? Insane. So this this should be running very well because it's a 1080p output. 
on the stream, so it should just be super fluid. There we go. This, the light's coming up a little bit. I don't know if there's anything more for me to check out in here. That's the thing. You're always wondering if there's something you forgot. All right, here we go. I guess if you could pick up everything, the uh, inventory management on that would be... You'd always be in your menus, even more than you already are. That would change the pacing a lot. Okay, here we go. There's Where the vanity, the, the beautiful man. shot. Look at that. There's your desktop, you guys. Here, you can take a screen cap of that. There you go. Booyah. Beautiful, right? Gorgeous. Um, okay, going down the hill. I mean, we're going to be playing full open world games in this generation that look better than this. And you're going to be able to go wherever you want to go. Which is just insane, but that's where we're at now. It's crazy. Okay, so let's see what's in here. Wow. Maybe, maybe they're out. <laughs> maybe they're out. <laughs> hey, there's that fantastic photo. Maybe they're out. <laughs> Yum. Is it so quiet in this village? I don't have anything for that. Okay. Oh, I don't have a, I don't have any weapons, nothing. Okay. Alright. Snow effects are great too, right? Doesn't look amazing. that his daughter had? What's down here? Awesome. Let's go. And Nick, you needed a poop? Oh, it's locked, man. Sorry, you can't. Burn it all. Alpha Cats, great to see you. A wizard is never late, Frodo Baggins. A wizard arrives... When precisely when he expects to. What happened? Hmm. <laughs> Nick can hold it. All right. What's this? All right. Okay. Some force could break it. Do I have uh, anything? No. Nothing. No, I can only... Okay. Well, now I can. Now I have... Uh, now let's destroy this thing. What do I have there? Ooh, first aid. Thank you. All right. So there you go. Did they just run out of the house? They left their delicious soup. Oh, it's Shit. Locked. Language. Language, Ethan. Okay, what's happening here? You think I can get through here? Let's see. Hmm. 
Where do I go? Let's get some more soup. Mmm. Oh, man. Okay. Well, I, I'm stuck. That's it. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. No. We'll figure this out. Let's see what's happening. There's got to be some. Oh, there we go. Let's open that up. No, no. Friendly. Friendly. Who are you? Who sent you? Nobody. There was an accident down on the road and... What's going on? Oh, no. They're coming. Who is? What the hell was that? You have a gun? What? Please tell me you have a gun. No, why would I? I I am great, Miguel. I've been having a blast playing Resident Evil Village. Thanks for joining us. Jump scares are great when I'm not the one playing, Dad, dude. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Not, he's having a terrible day. Put that in the soup. There we go. Ah! Okay. So, Ethan Winters had a bad day. Wait, there's more. It's about to get way worse. I have to climb over these bodies. This is like uh, the beginning of Vampire from Don't Nod, which is also Jesus Christ. fantastic. What the hell is wrong with this place? <laughs> These are like all the developers that worked on the game. They're like, we need vacations. <laughs> So, didn't need those fingers. Disgusting. Oh my god. So yeah, I felt all this. This was incredibly painful. The first go round. It's very effective. Oh. Ow. 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 Get off me, you son of a bitch. Takes like six shots. Ouch! Ow! Oh, I missed him. Oh, you son of a bitch. Got you. Come on, how many headshots do you need? Stop! Oh, man. So basically, they're telling you your gun. Not all that handy. <laughs> okay. All right. So you can craft, um, healing items. I'm, uh, I'm still green. I'm still okay. I've lost my, uh, hand or fingers on my hand but I'm okay not in pain crazy right I mean like like I was saying like the abuse that this character goes through is just shocking oh no I need a bolt cutter there um what can I do I hear something anything boom 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 it's very dark. All right. 
There we go. Gone. So there you go. Uh, you'll see Shadow Mist. That's his bullets. Okay, that's a good sign. Let's close. Okay, let's get up here. Yikes. Yikes. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Ouch! Oh! Oh. Oh, come on. <laughs> Ow. It's all right. I have first aid goo. Get him. Oh my god, they take a lot of shots. Finally. I'll take that herb. Okay, let's get the hell out of there. Where do we go? Is it over? I don't know, Ethan. <laughs> Near the fields. Survivors? All right, here we go. They do look like Solomon Grundy. There's a good uh, comment from Orion's Angel. Ugh. It's so gross to watch him just use his hand like normal. Okay. This is where I came out of, right? Yeah, okay. Follow the blood trail. All right, what's in here? Oh, give me this damn thing. Give me that. Survive the attack. There's garlic hanging up on the windows. Run. Let's get down here. Alright. Where do I go? What? Where do I go? This way. Okay. Oh, that scared me. Oh, that's it. Oh, no. Ouch. There's no way to them. Oh, my God. Look at these guys. Where am I going? Look at my mangled hand. It's so gross. Get up there. Run! Run! Look at this madness. They have bows and arrows and everything. 
Where am I going? Holy crap. Oh, no weapons. Just run. Get the hell out of here. R Ouch. Run. Ow. It's locked, of course. Shit. Got ya. Sons of bitches. Okay, give me these. Ah! Ouch! Ow! You're kidding me. Just drop! Oh my god, these guys are so tough. Got ya. Oh! Jerk. Give me this thing. Gotta run. Oh my god. Run! Run! Can I... Craft? Okay, I have first aid. <laughs> I'll just stop everything and craft some first aid. Where am I going? Am I going here? Let's see what's in, what's in here. I, I think I was here. I was here already. Oh, man. I'm so screwed. Oh, my God. I totally jumped. I don't know where I'm supposed to go! Get out of the way! I have four bullets! You guys, I'm so hosed. Is this locked? Get out of the way! Oh, man. That didn't do anything. It's like a P. Okay, hold on one sec. Where am I supposed to go? Ah, it's intense! Okay, this is locked. No, I was here already. Where am I going? I forget. Ouch! You're an asshole. Okay, get out of here! Uh-oh. I am liking this game, Shadow Mist. Look at this absolute insanity. I have three bullets left. How do you think I'll do? Oh my god. <laughs> For you too has been yelling at the phone. Go! So I got three bullets. Who do I shoot first? <laughs> Bye guys. See you tomorrow. Take it easy. Yikes. Yeah. Horrifying game. In VR, I, I... I... It would just not be fair. I think you would just be crapping yourself playing this thing. Uh, Dad, dude, it's still Resident Evil 4. It's bingo time. <laughs> Suspend six. Bingo! Uh, a, uh, who asked me if I was liking the game? Did, they, did you know that this was the first uh, trophy? Uh, who, who, uh, oh, uh, Shadow missed one. Did you know that that was popping up? So it's locked. Okay. All right, here we go. So let's go talk to this lady. She seems nice. In life and in death, we give glory. Uh, hello? <laughs> you shouldn't be out here. It's not safe. What the hell? Hey, can you hear me? Uh, it's you. 
The child's father. Child? Hey, wait. Do you mean Rose? Is she here? <laughs> Rose! Rose, yes. She is in great danger. Wow. Since Mother Miranda brought her to the village, we have fallen into darkness. What are you talking about? The oh, you just thought of the pun, Shadow Mist. You're a developer, aren't you? You helped make this game, didn't you? Castle Bell heralds danger. They're coming. <laughs> no. Wait. Where's Rose? Who's Mother Miranda? The bell tolls for us all. They're coming again. <laughs> oh, she's way too happy. Rose is here? Oh, man. I have zero bullets. Okay, so what's in here? Creepy church. Got that. Ooh, I'm in pain. Let's see if I can craft anything. I can. Good. Okay. So I'm healed. That is locked. I need a lock pick. I think it might be a little too dark. I'm just going to uh, brighten it up just a bit. Is that better? Looks about the same. You, I mean, you can really dial it in exactly how you want it to look. It looks insane on an OLED display. Capcom just crushed it with this. It's so beautiful. Okay, so we have a little map. Oh, there's a lockpick over there. Oh no, I need I need a lockpick. Okay, so um, some. Somebody on the radio said, come to us. So we should maybe go to them. All right. Okay, here we go. What's in here? Let's see. Can I go down? Nope. locked. Thanks, lady. Um, am I going up to this? Up to the belfry up here? I think I am. Oh, yeah, the maiden crest. Let's just save that right there. I think this is locked. It is. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Up past the... Uh, right, 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 right. Oh, man. Scared. So I'm going up to the smoke up there, right? That's where I'm going. Okay. Ow. Get in there. Close the door. Please. Okay. Miss Ojap, maybe. Maybe. Stay back. Please, don't hurt us. Whoa. It's okay. I'm not going to hurt you. I'm just glad to see normal people at last. Have you seen any other survivors? No. Yes, it does, Shadow Mist. So you can also save, but it has a um, auto save on it as well. Quiet girl. He's an outsider. Oh. 
Shit, we're setting ducks in here. Can your old man walk? No. One of the monsters cut him. He's lost a lot of blood. We have to get into Louise's Shh, house. Shh, quiet. Must be a way inside. Stay here. Be quiet. And don't move until I get those gates open. you guys take a look at the uh, beauty of the full game okay here we go It's clear. Uh, hurry, hurry. Took your damn time. Oh, you're welcome. Uh, I'm sitting at an 8.5 or a 9 right now, hip hop. I was really completely transported gone. last night when I was playing this game. I'm sorry. It's really We're good. Safe in here, won't we? Safer here than out there, that's for sure. Hey, do you know anything about what's going on around here? It doesn't make any sense. Mother Miranda has always protected us. Nobody's answer. Father? <laughs> we have to get inside. All right. What do I do here? Can I push? Hello? Anybody home? Maybe a familiar voice. Louisa, I definitely, um, I, I, as much as I really, really Sorry, am loving this, different type of game, Who's this? Returnal <laughs> is what I'm Father, thinking about. It's God just amazing. No, loving no, Returnal. Smell the blood. You'll endanger us all. My father will die out here. That's not my problem. Matthew What's Winstone, no VR. These people want to let a dying man into our home. Come now, these people are our friends. Go on, go inside. Come now. Actually, I'll pop it on full screen again some more. You're not from this village. Uh, no. I'm Ethan. Yulian, go make yourself useful and check the grounds. I said go! Well, if Elena trusts you, then so do I. Come inside, Ethan. Incredible uh, facial animations and details there huh Wait just here. beautiful i'll check on the others Just thought it was nice to look at a picture book for a second. All right. Come inside. The others are waiting. Okay, here we go. What the fuck is this? Outsiders, you're gonna get us all killed. Right. Anton. He helped Leonardo and Elena. We were doing fine by ourselves. Please, Ethan. Take a seat. Is this all that's left? From your entire village? All that's left? There is no one left! A worthless invalid? A stupid, wailing bitch! And you! You drag a bloody man and an outsider in here like it's nothing? And expect to be all safe? There is no safe! Every sorry bastard out there has been ripped in half! 
Acknode sis, you're just missing this guy losing it. He's a scumbag. Tomorrow we're we'll all be dead. Just like her damn husband. <laughs> Put a sock in it, Roxana. That's enough. This house has protected my family for generations. And drunk or not, you are all welcome and safe in here. Whatever. Can someone please tell me what the hell is going on here? We don't know. One day we were a quiet, devout village, and the next, the monsters came and attacked us. And they, they kept coming. Wait, Louisa, and, where is your husband? Did they? No. N no, he, he is out there. Somewhere. He, he went to get help. Yes, yes, that's, that's it. He, he went to fetch help. Let us pray. For him. For all Saeed, of us. don't, don't, um, update. Come. And don't start over. Um, just roll back to, uh, the one before 1.3.3. Together as one in reverence, we call on thee within the endless dark to deliver us into fate's hands. As the midnight moon rises on black wings, so we make our sacrifice and await the light at the end. In life and in death, we give you glory, Mother Miranda. Now, the tea should be ready. Come help me, Elena, please. That prayer, I've heard it before. There was an old woman near the graveyard. <laughs> Give me the hag. <laughs> Some bitch is crazy as a bag of rats. There is wisdom in her devotion, though. And I hope it protected her as it shall protect us. <laughs> In your father anymore. You did the right thing. <laughs> Elena, Elena, no. There's nothing you can do. Papa! This entire place yeah. is collapsing. Yeah. Yeah. You couldn't save him. He was already gone. Leave me alone. No, we're getting out of here together. Right. We gotta get out of here. Let's go uh, do a little digging. Some shotgun ammo. I need that. Read that letter. Cool. What's in here? Nothing. Okay. Fire is definitely taking over the house here. The fire's moving fast. Okay, let's get in here.
What are you thinking? Step back. We can bust out with this. There we go. Ouch. No airbags. didn't work. <laughs> Wilden, how you doing? Go. Get up. Hurry. All right, let's go. Let's move. Move it. Go. Run. To breathe in the smoke. I know. Thank you, Ethan. You're kind. I hope your family is safe. I do. Come on, it'll hold. There, that's our way out. Thank there God. we go. But what then? The village is still full of monsters. We can't fight them. There's too many. Hey, hey, don't talk like that. <laughs> One existential threat at a time. So I can find my daughter. My hunch is she's in that old castle. No. That place is full of nothing but blood and death. And I don't want to be alone while you're... Father? Elena, no. That's not him. Not anymore. He said my name? Father! Wait, it's not safe! Uh. Oh, no. Elena. Stay there! Come on, give me your hand. What did you do? I think I got most of them, Peter. Go. Save your daughter. Elena, don't give up. It's it's not like Fallout. They render a lot of stuff, but you you, you can't grab everything. Why is everyone dying on me? Elena. You guys can change why is everyone dying on me to your ringtones if you'd like. Why is everyone dying on me? That would freak some people out when you're in the bank. Okay. I just um, get it. Let's get out of here. Go. Cool. happening again oh, shit all right here we go got the demon crest Mother Miranda. Who, who was? What was that? All right, here we go. I don't think I'm gonna follow exactly where she was. <laughs> okay, get up. Oh, there's the lady. Nice old lady. Let's go. Death. Huh? Yes. Death has visited them all. <laughs> Boy, she is way too happy. So this is all locked still. I don't have a key. Okay. All right, let's go this way. Um... 
Where the heck am I supposed to go? Oh, around this way. What's this? Gunpowder. Let's see if I can craft anything. Nope. I'm hooped. Where am I going? Where am I going? So many invisible walls. I don't like being in this wheat. The death wheat of Resident Evil. Okay. No, I've already been here. Lady, where do I go? Tell me where to go. Where do I go now? Which way? Can you point me in the right direction? Oh, oh no. Um, everything's on fire over there. How about down here? I think I just came from there. Ooh, my god. Man, it's just like, I don't want to walk through this wheat. What's over here? We're gonna die, Scoob! Okay, I open that up. Okay. What's over here? Um. No. No. I forgot where I'm supposed to go. Ah. <laughs> Lewis Arias. <laughs> The wheat textures aren't great, Matthew Winstone. Sound, it's spoken like a person that may have spent some time on the prairies. Um, I, I don't know where to go. I don't know. Um, uh, hi, do you have a key? Hello. Hi. Hi. Do you have a key? There you go. There's a desktop photo for you. All right. Oh. Boo. Okay, and I have the demon crest. Guess this leads to the castle. Let's go. What? It does fit. What are you talking about? Oh. That's one. And the maiden crest. Okay. Make sure I touch upon the wheat. <laughs> Nothing but blood and death. Huh? So we're going in there, guys. This looks really inviting, doesn't it? Don't you just want to come and hang out? Spend some time in this joint? Um, um, I feel like I'm going to spoil some stuff. Yeah, I think that's, I think that's good. I think that's good. Game doesn't come out till tomorrow. Got inside the castle, saw a little bit of the village. I don't want to spoil anything for people that are, uh, yeah, you guys know what I'm talking about. But there you go. Um, I showed off a little bit of the, the uh, uh, inside the castle gameplay. You've seen some in the trailers. Uh, Miss Ojad, I, I really don't want to. Uh, there's, some, there's some cool moments about to happen, and I don't want to, I don't want to spoil that. Um, it's great, though. This game is absolutely staggeringly beautiful and wonderful and uh i think if you are a resident evil fan you are going to enjoy this one quite a bit i don't know where it's going to stack up on your pecking order i think still seven is a little higher for me four is definitely higher um i loved two i'm also a big fan of three although i know a lot of people think it's too short but i thought it was super fun and crazy the remakes i'm talking about uh but yeah incredible what a team uh, Arthur wants more. I know that's the thing, right? I want more too. Uh, I'm going to bounce back actually and play some more in the, uh, in, in my main profile. 
but uh, yeah, wonderful escapism, terrifying, very well made. Uh, but that's going to do it for uh, the EPN Plays portion of the program today. I'll be back again tomorrow with uh, some new content for you. So please subscribe if you dig our stuff. Hit that notice notification bell to uh, hear when we're going live and when new stuff is coming up. And uh, I'll be back soon. We'll see you tomorrow. And until then, play forever. Play forever.